Did MG4 finally resolve software issues with their latest update? And are OTA updates available already? Hey Tech Heads, Fina here. I finally have another MG4 video for you and it's going to be jam-packed with software information. Now, do you think MG4 will begin introducing OTA updates? And did you know that the R33 software finally brings a lot of the new features and improvements that we've all been calling out for. Come with me and let's take a closer look. So in today's video, I'll be returning to the MGEV's discussion forum where I like to, you know, read discussions and see what I find. So let's take a look. I'll start with Fred 4009's experience from December 2023. So Fred 4009, who lives in France, attempted to upgrade his MG4's infotainment software which led to seeing a totally unexpected OTA update. Now, although this update process was successful, Fred4009 didn't actually notice any changes in the software version. So alas, he remained with version R46. Another MG4 owner, this time in the UK, spoke to his representative at the MG dealership from where he had picked up his car just a few weeks prior. And he asked the dealer, of course, about OTA updates on the MG4. So he was told that MG4 had confirmed to them that the OTA updates should be coming to European models this year. Now, given the updates made in France, it does seem to be imminent, though obviously looks like there are still some kinks to work out. We're all waiting for it with the MG4. But of course, the question is, will anything really change? The biggest problem again here is MG's communication with customers, MG dealers providing complete information, which is often quite contradictory. There is like no one clear communication channel for customers about technical stuff. It's like the car company still doesn't understand that EV owners are typically, you know, tech fans by default and they simply need to know this information. Like, is it that hard to publish one list of current software versions for each version of the MG4? If an OTA update comes, how is an MG4 owner supposed to decide whether to install it or not? Because, you know, according to the owner discussions that I've been reading, different versions do have different issues. So it's certainly not the case that, you know, if you install a new version, it's going to bring you only improvements. You might get some new issues too, so you might want to decide whether you want that or not. But we'll talk about more, you know, details of that in the next chapter. But anyways, like, why is it that car companies will have entire marketing departments that put out, you know, one social media post after another promoting new cars coming out, but there is like no technical department that would care about current car owners quite the same. Like I would imagine that, um, you know, social media account with that information would have a much larger following than the marketing one. So which car company will be the first to understand this? Will it be MG? What do you think? Will the availability of OTA updates, you know, improve your satisfaction with the MG4? Or would you be afraid to install them and it'll be just another thing that you have to tick off your checklist before you take off? Let me know. Next, we'll look at the in-service update of the MG4 SE to R33. Specifically, I'll be talking about SWI 96-29958-1100 R33. It brings many improvements over R13 and R16, but some bugs do remain. And unfortunately, some new bugs have appeared. So for example, when you're lowering the volume using the right steering wheel joystick, the volume will continue to lower itself all the way to zero, even after you released it. And then it cannot be raised back up. That's kind of annoying. Of course, the solution here is to change the volume step by step instead of holding that button down for a long time, and then you shouldn't have that issue. But still, it's just like a frustrating bug. Unfortunately, R33 did not fix the temperature offset, and you still need to add 5 degrees Celsius to set your actual desired temperature. 
But okay, let's get to the positives of the R33. And there are many, so that's good. It's important to know that the user site guru from the MGEV's forum also updated other units during the R33 software update, like the CCU or combined charging units, the IPK or instruments pack, the BCM or body control module, the EVCC, which is the electric vehicle communication controller, uh, the FCIM or front infotainment control module, and FDR or front detection radar. The recall was called SC47 and SCUK001, and it's likely that it only applies to UK cars. After making the update, Sidecore noted these positive changes in the R33. So it has the new AC page and the top bar is always visible, making the menu easily accessible. The icons are much bigger and easier to use, so this is a very positive change. Now, since the top bar is still visible, it is very easy to start the pull down menu now, which has a moment of suspense, the option to turn off lane keep assist. So this is great. I think so many MG4 owners have been waiting for this. You can finally just turn it off with one click. It's a huge improvement and MG definitely gets points for this. Also new is the AC pop-up screen, which now makes sense and it makes it clear that it's not clickable, but rather just shows the functions that are available when you press the joystick on the steering wheel. So this is also wonderful. It's going to help clear up a lot of confusion, I think. The left and right star buttons now have the same three selection options, energy recovery or setting recuperation, drive modes, and AC. If you set the star button to energy recovery, you can switch easily between auto one, two, three, and auto again with the simple press of a button. So I would say that's perfect. The remote HVAC now works when plugged in, but not charging. So this is very good news. The display of the snow mode when the MG4 is switched to sport mode has also been fixed. You know, that was a small issue that some people were having, but I think it's good. You know, it wasn't a big deal, but better not to have that issue at all. <laughs> Outside temperature is now still displayed on the top right of the main display. So that's also great. So what do you think? Did MG do a good job here? I think the improvements are substantial and I'm very happy that the new R33 software is available for the MG4 SE. But don't forget that a lot of these improvements have also come from updates to other control units, of which there are about 20 in the MG4. Now, unfortunately, updating them is very time consuming. And as a result, some service centers are not very keen on doing them, which is definitely a big shame because I do think there is a possibility that a lot of these problems, for example, the lane keep assist, were solved by MG a while ago. But unfortunately, many, many people still don't know about it. Either their dealer, you know, deliberately didn't tell them or they just don't want to deal with it because of the time consuming nature of such a service. There is still no document that would clearly state what has changed for each version, you know, what has been fixed, even for the infotainment software, let alone the firmware of the other control units. So as one MGEV forum member summed it up, it's still just one big mess. So that's the news regarding software updates in the MG4. Let me know if you've had any similar or any different experiences with your MG4. I do also plan to explore the latest MG4 trophy or luxury software. So if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss it. As always, I look forward to seeing you in the comments section. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you next time.